Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Stu Bennett. That is right, Stu Bennett, not right. Barrett. Yes. Some, people, some people get that wrong. Pleasure to meet you guys. Thank nice you very that's, much that's for having me that, I know it's like a common mistake that people make usually. They know that you go by, your, your name is Stu. Yeah, of course. Like, I, Stu so, so Stu Bennett is the real name. Yeah. Uh, everything else I've gone by is owned by Vince McMahon, so we can't use that anymore. So that's how, how that Ooh. is. So. And I mean, you know, now, <laughs> but we moved past that. Now we're at NWA. Yeah, exactly. That's my, my current love affair in the world of professional wrestling <laughs> is the National Wrestling Alliance, which in my opinion is the best single hour of weekly professional wrestling anywhere on the planet. It's free on YouTube, NWA Power, every week, one hour. Go check it out. I promise it you, watch it for a month, one hour, every single week for one month, and you will be hooked. It's hooked me back into the world of pro wrestling, and you get to listen to my voice every week, which is even better. Yeah. Um, so you said uh, it, it's it's kind of reinvigorated your love of professional yes. wrestling. And for me as a kid, I was a big WCW, you know, 605 Saturday. Yes. And so this just – I'm like, oh, my – this is amazing. This is so fun. Studio so, wrestling. Studio wrestling. So do you think just the different setting that just – made you so passionate about it again you know what i was really burned out with professional wrestling when i left wwe in 2016 i kind of had enough and i walked away from the world of pro wrestling for a while and i've kind of stayed away done some acting done some tv hosting uh and uh kind of enjoyed life for a few years but um david lagana and, and billy corgan who run the nwa they've yeah. been in touch with me for a while saying hey check out this show we're doing we'd love to have you involved at some point and i saw i was watching it and before i knew it, i was kind of hooked into the way yeah. of of their what I call narrative professional wrestling, which mm. as opposed to modern day professional wrestling for me has become very athletic, which is great. Um, but as a consequence of how good the athleticism is, I feel like some of the storytelling and the characters have uh, taken a back seat to that. So I don't think the writing and the storytelling and the characters are anywhere near as good as they could be. Um, whereas I think the NWA has put the focus on that narrative side of wrestling. So the storylines, the characters involved, uh, this crazy wacky world of unashamedly professional wrestling yeah. is what has hooked me back in. Because that is what I fell in love with as a fan when I was younger. That's what I want from my professional wrestling. And I feel that the NWA is the best in the world right now at doing that. So that's what's hooked me back in and, and got me excited once again. And it's great that it's on YouTube because you can just go, if you haven't, watched for some reason i don't know why uh you can just go all the way back and binge it that's it you know yeah. there's probably i would guess about 25 episodes in total now Ooh, um, so yeah, yeah i mean it, it started coming out in probably late uh, october mean, right in um so it's weekly and uh you know i i came in after about the first 10 episodes um i came in as the co color commentator there yeah. um so i've done about 15 episodes with them now and it's it's rolling every week and every Two months or so, we have a pay-per-view which streams live on the Fight TV app. Um, so, you know, we have that big blow-off after every couple of months or yeah. so. Um, the next one being the Crockett Cup on the 19th of April. So make sure you, you check that one out. <laughs> hey, I'm plugging all this now. Yeah, you're it. doing it all. Yes. Uh, I, but, when uh, I saw the TV title, I lost my mind. Yes. Yeah, it was cool. We yes. brought that back. Crockett so Cup is back. You know, it's bringing this, this kind of old-school wrestling into the modern era and there are some great throwbacks as people like the rock and roll express are on there yeah. which of course everyone knows and they're they're still incredible to this day you know trevor oh, yeah. murdoch is there a yes. lot of people he's a lot of people's favorites because he, he is that kind of throwback like, which, by the way i felt like it fit him so perfectly yeah right? they, it, it yeah. wasn't it wasn't out of, i felt like in ww it was like kind of like out of place but in the NWA world, yeah. I just felt like that's, he, that's he's the perfect guy for it. People love him too, yes, and he's he's, he's really kind of reinvigorated himself by coming back there. And I think he's another one who was probably burned out with the world of pro wrestling. Oh, yeah. I know he's been through similar things that I went through mm -hmm. when I left WWE, and the question, you know, do I ever really want to be involved in this again? Yeah. Am I done? Is you know, have I hit the top and that's it? Uh, but you know, he's he's like a whole new human being at this point. He feels like a kid again, and, so he's great. And, great. and you know, not only these kind of uh, old school guys that I'll reference them as, but there's a bunch of young talent coming through. There's a guy called Ricky Starks, who I think is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's yeah, another yeah. guy called Zicky Dice, who's the, the craziest character I've seen in pro wrestling <laughs> yeah. for a long time. Yeah, yeah. The women's wrestling is amazing. You've got uh, a lady called Thunder Rosa. A Mexican Th yeah. girl Thunder who, Rosa is amazing. For my money, the best professional wrestler on the planet, male or female. I will make there that point. Go. I think she is absolutely phenomenal. I've Whoa. never seen someone so aggressive, so technically sound, so tough. Great persona. Yes. She looks fantastic. She has, she has everything Absolutely. Uh, to be the best in the, on the 
on the planet, yeah. uh, you know, male awesome. or female. I will stress that. So I think she's fantastic, and there's a lot of great stuff going on. Yeah, there, so. yeah. With your love, I mean, let's just say you to me and a lot of fans, you left WWE like really at the top. Like you left with such a high gimmick, and even the League of Nations. But after that, seeing you back in this love, like you said now your your love affair with professional wrestling and WWE, being so close to the ring and being. Um, how far are you going to go down this uh, this NWA world? Well, you know, um, I've always been asked, you know, when am I getting back in the ring? I, I, I didn't and I, that. I understand that. I, I get asked it a lot. That. But, um, yeah, when you know, you? right now I am enjoying commentary. It's mm -hmm. something I've always loved doing. A lot of people don't realize this, but before they ever saw me on WWE TV, I was a commentator in developmental for really? FCW. I worked with Dusty Rhodes and Byron Saxton. So um, I kind of got my start in the world yeah. of commentary a long time ago. Right. So it's nice for this to come back around and I get to play a persona, be a character, you know, be involved in the wrestling world. Um, maybe at some point I'll get back in the ring. I'll be honest with you. I I've, I've, never, I've never once missed uh, not being in the ring. So oh, I, it, uh, uh, since I've left, I've never had that moment. Oh, I really wish I could get in there and jump up in the air and land on my back again, or <laughs> land on my head, or whatever <laughs> or it is, and get punched in the face. It's so I've already elbow. had that. Yeah, but yeah. I have missed being around the locker room, being around the guys, being around the industry, and being at places like this. So it's nice to be back involved, doing what I feel I was best at in the wrestling world, which is talking and being on the mic and explaining things and, and you know hyping and things up. I hope. And, you're uh, one you know, of the most, like so. literally one of the best on the mic. Thank you very like, much. I, I, I would completely that. say that hands down. And this is uh, this is not wrestling related. Uh, great voice. Have you ever done voiceover work? I haven't. No, well, I've done it on like the WWE video right, games right, right. and no, stuff right. like that. Like, and uh, I mean, I've done uh, commentary and I did something called Ultimate Beastmaster, where it's it's very. Um, I was on camera a little, but most of it was me commentating over the top of his kind of an American Ninja Warrior type show. Oh, oh the, the, the was that the Netflix? It was on Netflix. Yeah, exactly. yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. CM, CM yes. Punk did it yeah, too, yeah, so we, Punk, we yes. were both hosts on that. So um, they, I tend to get work involved in my voice. I probably need to find a voiceover agent out here. I'm in Wait, LA now. I was going to say you're in a perfect move, place. So, uh, so maybe I'll maybe I'll go track a voiceover agent down. Yeah. The problem is most of them out here want you to do an American accent. And my American accent is so hopeless and don't ask me to do it because I'm not I will not. To. No, but, I would uh, never do you know, that. So <laughs> I mean, unless it's in Eng as an Englishman, it's, it, I find it very difficult to, to portray that. You don't me. feel like as an actor, because we, you've been in multiple projects, mm -hmm. um, that that's a the English accent or you know the British accent, UK accent, however you want to phrase it. It's a popular. Yeah, a popular exactly. One hundred percent. So I feel like doing voiceover, even if it's for an animation series or anything like that. It, yeah, I'd, I'd have to carve out my own niche yeah. there. The way I look at it, um, whenever I've been for auditions in mm. LA, they've almost always wanted me to do it in a US accent, which that's, is something I've, I've struggled with. I'm, I'm like doing it. I look at Jason Statham. And I think every film, he's a very famous English <laughs> yes, action yeah. guy. I've never seen him do a U.S. accent. Never. He never. always just has his own accent. Vinnie Jones is another one. Yeah, right? yes, I did a film yes. with him recently. It's coming out in May. Oh, he's another one. He, he never does a U.S. accent. So why have I got it? Just let me I don't do know. the even, English accent. Even Ildris Elba is like, you want him to be you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, I think like, that, you know yeah. what? He was in The Wire. Right? I've never seen The Wire. Did he do a U.S. accent in The Wire? Uh, but it was like a gay. It was it was a it was a Baltimore accent. Oh, is that right? In the office. So it was a oh. little different. Good for him. Yeah, Good you know, it was a little him, yeah. it was a little different. I like him though. I think he's awesome. Oh, yeah, I, he's I actually hope he's the next James Bond. I don't. I'm not a oh, huge you're, you're, James Bond look, aficionado, but I think he'd be, I would be great. Right he's you, just so cool. He's so yeah. cool. He's a badass. Women love him. Men love him. That's a hard a hard thing. It's to a, and that's why he's that guy. I think you know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he has a question lined up for you. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, we appreciate your time that you've no, given us. No, thank you. I, I appreciate the vodka. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate it. Um, it's just so great because I, when you left the WWE, I, me personally, I was like, I think he's done. Right? And it's, it's really So great. did I. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And it's just it's great that NWA has has brought you back to to the fandom. That, that's the us. thing I think about pro wrestling is we're a very unique community and people who, who love this world and are fans of it. Sometimes you need to take a step away, but we are like moths drawn to a flame <laughs> that eventually, no matter how far away you move, it's going to hug you back in yes. somehow. You yeah, can't we, leave, you know? We, like you said, you left. We all, it, was, it wasn't one of those things where you had, like your story wasn't complete in pro wrestling. Mm. I think all the fans felt that. So just to be back, commentary, 
so close to the ring yet so far um <laughs> we're happy we're happy uh, to it, see ain't, it ain't ever over you look at like uh, the rock and roll express the, like, yeah oh my goodness oh. i think i think 63 years old and Dude, doing Canadian Canadian the Still he pops on the i'm 39 so maybe in 24 years i'll make my big oh, return okay. and well, hear hurricane rana and see how that goes <laughs> and we'll be right there watching well, our that NWA will be power. the end right yes. there straight on my head uh, okay. where can the people find you on the social media uh, so my twitter is at Stu bennett um, and my Bennett, Instagram, guys. I think, is at Stu Bennett Official, I think. All right. Somebody took at Stu Bennett. Who would do that? The, I, Actually, I think I the guy that, is also called Stu Bennett. So that's, <laughs> I, can't, I can't be too mad at him, he's but yeah, he, like, he beat me to it. So don't go to his Instagram. Go to mine. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Cool. Appreciate you taking time My out. pleasure. Thank, thank you for having me on the show. Great job, guys.